Hey guys, so I believe this is use it up or just use it use it up or just use it Thursday uh, series video number 13 I believe. Um, so I want to use up this applique flower. Um, I've got this package of ginger people with their cookies that look kind of corny. I bought this many many years ago when I first started getting into paper crafting it was one of those newbie purchase things and um, not very attractive but we'll make them work then on the back I <laughs> excuse me I slipped this um, extremely thick chipboard sticker that I got from Leslie and it says you are home to me so I want to use that so I will be back in a jiffy with what I have made with these items. So here is our here is here are the projects that I got done. And yes, I am still doing this series, if you will. I just um December and January were kind of crappy months for me. Just a lot of caca things happening. But I'm, you know, trying to get back to it. So, um, here is the first thing I made. And it's still wet, but the stickles takes forever to dry. So I'm just going to do it now and hopefully not so much. Um, card bases from Bonnie. Here's the brown applique flower. Um... There's washi tape going in the middle. And this is a Gina Marie die. And boy is it a pain in the butt to cut out. But that's mainly due to my extremely old and warped uh, cutting pads. Um, I, I'm sure the die is fine. I just, my pads are just really bad. Um, so yeah. Uh black stickles and I think that's it. This is actually a pattern paper but you can't really see it. I got it in a D stash. It's this. Yeah, it's pretty simple. I like to keep my sympathy cards simple. Cause, you know, you're you're giving a sympathy card for a for a sad occasion. It's not like you you know, you're not going to want to a lot of mumbo jumbo happening on the card. Just trying to figure out a place to put it where I wouldn't smear the stickles. Um, okay, here is the next card. I'm not in love with it, but the thing that I love about cards is that you can send them away and never see them again. So here is what I did with the gingerbread chipboard stickers. Um, card bases from Bonnie. This scrap of paper is probably from Bonnie. I don't have any clue what pad it's, what brand it is. Probably mm, Doodlebug, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, this green pattern paper, you can't really tell it's a pattern, but that's SE, SEI paper. And then um, I did a scrap. I used the Martha Stewart doily punch on this scrap of red, which I screwed up really badly at the end. But, um, whatever. I wasn't going to cut down another, you know, find another thin strip of paper. I figured it was fine. Who would know but me? And then the chipboard uh, gingerbread people, I uh, took off the foam tape because... And it looks like the seed beads off the sugar cookies are coming off. I might, when this is done, knock off the rest of the bugle beads that are glued down on here and just stick some stickles or something. Um, anyways, I took off the foam tape so that I could mail it without any extra charge, hopefully. Um, I had intended to stick them up here, but this was such a busy, um pattern and 
I was too lazy to cut out some rectangles for these stickers to go on them. So I just stuck them down here. Yeah, I'm a pretty lazy person. Um, and then this Let's Dance and Sing and Make Good Cheer for Christmas comes but once a year came from this um, Remarks sticker book. This is in my um, Use It Up folder. I've got a folder with um, various things that I really want to be gone. And this book is one of the things that's in it. Um, and then the inside I used a banner sticker from the same sticker book and then the last thing I made was a layout um, after Christmas when I showed um, all of the stuff I had gotten and purchased or whatever um, I had just taken everything on my table and stuck it in a plastic bag so I could get the video done and so now I'm slowly going through the plastic bag and finding stuff that um, is either half done or whatever and in the bag was this um, picture that I wanted to scrapbook that I had taken out so I went ahead and did that because I also had this chipboard which was part of the uh, personal challenge for number 13 this chipboard sticker and I wanted to use this with this picture so um, anyways the um, lime green mat is a, is an oriental trading, um, Christmas paper. I wanted a, a lighter lime green to go with, um, the shirt my mom's wearing. But I was too lazy to look through any more of my iris boxes for something lighter. <laughs> Um, this, uh, page, all I know is it's Recollections, this pattern paper here. Got it when I first started scrapbooking again, when I first started paper crafting. Um, this is an Cane Company border. Um, I got this in a D-stash from Crap scrappy Kesu and I matted the picture with some tur turquoise and it is really late and I can't talk or make thoughts um, turquoise uh, cardstock and some mauve cardstock some uh, brown diagonal striped washi that I got at the thrift store and then on the mauve cardstock I used this really uh, narrow flower washi that my mom got me for Christmas and then this chipboard sticker it's kind of hard to see the white words it says you are home to me which is how I feel about um, my mom and my dog Brutus that they're that they are my home wherever we end up um, this layered butterfly uh, sticker is a cane company sticker as well as this weird cabbagey medallion-esque sticker came out of this sticker sheet which I got from Leslie a long time ago um, this uh, turquoise butterfly was already on the pattern paper and I just took my blue jelly roll and went over the veins of the wings to give it some sparkle to even out the sparkle that's down on this chipboard sticker and then this um, sticker is just from my uh, loose stickers from that big sticker dish sash I bought you know stickers that don't that aren't actually on a sheet um, and I just put Brutus and Mom, I love this picture. And this was probably taken around 2007. <sighs> Would be my guesstimate. So that's the year I put. Because Brutus is so black in this picture. He's unrecognizable. Right now he's half white. You know, he's got so much gray hair. He's half white. 
So, God, he's such a handsome dog. I love this picture. I love this picture of him and my mom cuddling, cuddling together because... You know, it kind of reminds me of this, of this situation that I'm in now with Dottie. You know, when we first got Brutus, he was a monster. He was a monster of a dog. Not in a good way. You know, he attacked me. He attacked Pebbles. He'd run up and still <laughs> take the plate off the table. You know, just, um, you know, he especially go after me if I tried to pull him away from my brother because he automatically bonded to my brother. Um, and this had to have been a little bit off, had to have been a few months to a year after we had him because, you know, we couldn't do that with him. A brother could. But, um, yeah, he's a, he's a man's dog. And I don't have a lot of pictures of my mom so yes I, I love this picture together I love that I was able to go so far with Brutus you know that he turned out he's a doofus but he turned out to be such a good dog and I'm hoping that hopefully you know months or even years down the line I can help Dottie become a great dog too And right now, Brutus is outside, or not outside, but um, at my mom's house living with her because Dottie um, wouldn't stop attacking the male dogs in the house. And yeah, we finally got her fixed. So hopefully, fingers crossed, in a few months, once all that estrogen is fizzled out of her system, I'm hoping it she'll be... Um, more manageable to work with. I have no clue of her background, what she went through, why she only seems to attack the male dogs. You know, Amber lives in the house with me, my um, pit mix and my female pit mix, and then my cat lives with me. And she's not even bothered by Norman the hamster. It's just... It's male dogs, and I don't know why, and I miss Brutus so much. But, um, I hope he understands that I can't give up on her just like I couldn't give up on him 11 years ago, you know? So, anyways, enough with my blabbering. Tired, I blabbered. Um, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later, and, yeah. Adiós.